Will, this is my friend Willie Rodriguez. Hey, hi guys. Hi everybody. It's 9-11, a very hard day for America, and especially hard for you. You were the janitor, you cleaned the, the stairways. stairways, 110 floors. Yes. Your office, sub-basement level one, there are six sub-levels. So the lobby, then sub one, sub two, sub three, sub four, sub five, sub six. You were at sub one, you, ch you punched in at 8.30 in the morning, you were late, you weren't going to go to work, it was a beautiful day, you were going to take off. Correct. You come into work because your boss asked you to, you came in, you were a little bit late. At 8.46, you heard an explosion from beneath you. From below. From below. Yeah. It was so big that it lifted you up. Everybody in the office. 14 people. 14 people. Lifted you up. Correct. A few seconds later, you heard another explosion. Coming all the way from the top of the building. Turned out that was the plane. That was the plane. Yeah. The first plane. Mm -hmm. But there was definitely an explosion before the first plane. Oh, 100% uh, sure. You have a lot of witnesses who were down there yes. who would confirm that fact. Yes. You told that fact to the 9-11 Commission? Not only did I tell the fact to the 9-11 Commission, but I gave them a list of the eyewitnesses that were there that experienced the same event as I did, and they were never called to testify. And was your testimony included in the 9-11 report? No, it doesn't show anywhere. It doesn't Actually, show it was anywhere. omitted. There's 576 pages on that book, and you won't find my name anywhere. Anywhere. You go all over the world, and you speak about what happened to you on that day, the fact that you had one of five pass keys that uh, allowed you access to any and all doors in the complex? That is correct, and I have uh, a, a speech that I do all over the world as a motivation speech, but it always tells the real story of what happened on 9-11. And, uh, you know, like I said, there's a lot of respect all over the world for this kind of story, but when I come here, I am able to tell the story, but it's always either edited or uh, presented in a different way. And uh, only, I guess, C-SPAN had the only uh, pants to actually put my story without editing for basically a, almost two hours. For and two hours. For two hours, they let me tell my story. The only media network that allowed me full coverage. I remember there was one interview that you were doing where you said, I heard a boom, and then they cut the footage. Oh, they cut. That was ABC News. You can see it on uh, Google. Right. So what you said was, I heard an explosion from below. But as soon as you said explosion, they, they cut, cut the from tape below and, and they, they made it into the plane. In the plane, yes. Yeah. You're not a conspiracy theorist, are you? I don't. I, I, You're I, a I survivor. Am not, I, I'm, I'm a survivor. I was there. I experienced the event. I was uh, affected, and I'm still affected. It's seven years. I still have open wounds, emotional open wounds. I have to go through this uh, depression uh argumentation and debate constantly with uh, politicians uh, fighting for victims' rights. It's just, you know, I'm an activist, but at the same time, I'm a person that was affected by the worst event that we have ever experienced here in the United States. And uh, I tell you, it's just not easy. It's, it doesn't get any easier. And you and the rest of the survivors, what you're calling for is a new and thorough investigation where all of the witnesses and survivors will be interviewed, and it all will be included. Now, there's a man who you met on September 11, Felipe David. Felipe David. He was on sub-level two beneath you mm -hmm. in his office. It was a small closet-sized office. Right. His job was to refill the vending machines. Mm -hmm. And you met him that day in 9-11. He was totally burned. He was burned. He was totally burned. He was beneath you. He was beneath me, yeah. No one on your level was burned? No. But he was beneath you in level two. He was completely burned and was, from the waist up. And, and there, was, there was other people as well that got stuck on um, the floor below us because of that explosion. Uh, they went into an elevator uh, to protect themselves because of the fire and the debris and uh, all the things happening. At the so there was level. no fire on your level, sub one, no. but there was fire, sub level two. There was no fire on the area where I was. I don't know if there was fire on the opposite side but not on the area that I was, no, definitely not fire. So Felipe came out of, uh, came up to your level? Came up to the level, came by the, um, um, uh, by, by the area of uh, the office itself, with the hands extended, all the skin hanging, 33% of his body uh, burnt, pieces missing from his face. And you helped him out, you got him into yes. an ambulance, you I then went back in. Correct. You went back in three times. Correct. You credited with saving over 100 people's lives. Something like that. Yes. yes. You yourself were the last man out. You dove underneath the fire truck as the yes. debris fell. Correct. And somehow Correct. you were able to get out. I came out. Uh, I, I brought a person on a wheelchair 
a name Ed Payet, and uh, when I put him on the uh, lobby with the three other firemen, I was told to get the ambulance ready. When I went to get the ambulance ready, the building started to collapse, and the only thing I saw was a fire truck. I sleep right under the fire truck, and the building collapsed right on top of me. I was the only one that survived at that moment because all that group of uh, firemen and uh, uh, the men on the wheelchair died at that moment. Um, I'm the last person to exit the building, last man out of the building. So here we are seven years later, 9-11, uh, a horrible day in American history, and uh, Willie Rodriguez, a hero, a friend of mine, he, uh, there you go, he just wants to tell a story, and I don't know, 60 Minutes, 2020, NBC News, Dateline, someone, somebody, uh, tell this guy's story, because all I got is a blog. <laughs> Peace out, everybody, September 11th.